What's going on guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy. Welcome to a video. In today's video is pretty much the same as my normal videos I've been making over the past few whiles. Um, buying shit. Because that's what I do. I buy shit. <sighs> so let's start with my personal favorites. So there's this place called Claire's. Uh, yeah. Basically they got a bunch of accessories and stuff like that mostly. Um, a little bit of clothing but mostly accessories. So I got this. I don't know if you can really see it all that well. It's basically a red bow. You can put it on your head. Um, you can't really see this, but it's pink cat ears. Pink. Yes. And it's got a little ribbon right there. It's also pink. Um, oh yeah, you can see the cat ears, but you probably can't see that's pink. Uh, let's see. What else is there? There's this pair of cat ears. I'll be wearing these on my Instagram, so check out my Instagram, which is... I think it's at Neko Fluttershy Official or something something like that. More cat ears. Pretty much, you guys and gals all know what I bought. A bunch of cat ears because, hey, I'm a Neko, okay? Shut up. What do you want from me aside from more cat ear photos on the interwebs? I won't give you that. I'll give you, I'll give you some more cat ear photos. Speaking of cat ears, I went to Walmart. Got these um, cat ears as well. I probably already have these somewhere. But yeah. So I'm going to basically go with the clothing items first. So that's it for Claire's and pretty much Wal or, yeah, Walmart for the, the cat ears. So I went to, um, what was the place called? Oh yeah, Goodwill. I don't know if you can really see this. I bought a dress. <laughs> I'll also probably be wearing this on Instagram if I can. I didn't really like check the size. So I may not be able to wear it. I don't know. Hopefully I can. Spent almost 10 bucks on this. It's from David's Bridal, by the way. I don't know if you guys and gals know who or what that is, but yeah. So Again, just when you think I'm done, I got more shit to show y'all. Got a bag full. So, where did I put them? Alright. I'm not done yet. I hope I'm not done yet. I'm done. <laughs> All that's left is the games, which I will show off separately. I'm not in a separate video. Fuck that. But I mean, like, separately as in, like, you know, separate from everything else. So I got this. Basically, it's got cat ears and little cat paws. I don't care about the paws. I just want the, I just want the ears. So I got that. Um, a jeweled cat ears. Kind of some of the ones I had. Uh, I got here last week or two weeks ago. So I got that. Um, cat chat. It's pink cat ears. Uh, kitty headband in pink. Again, you can't really see it because it's dark, but it's, it's pink. Trust me on that. It's, it's fucking pink. I got also a black variant. It's the same thing. The kitty headband is black. And this one is red. You can see the red a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Wait, can you see the pink if I shine it a certain way? Probably not. It looks more whitish or gray or whatever, but it's, it's pink. Trust me on that one. So now that's left is the video game. So I guess this is where I'm on a goodwill kick. I'll show you the games I got from Goodwill. Uh, Sean White Snowboarding for the PSP. Even though I don't have a PSP, I will get one soon at some point. 
So, I mean, this might be the first game I get for this thing. I don't have yet. I mean, it's only $2.99. It's a good price for video games that you probably can't find anywhere else. Alright, on PC, more great games for girls. I only got this PC. I also kind of want to make a video on this. So, that's another reason. Uh, and Luxor 3 for the PC. Um, I'm excited. Like, these are old PC, not the new shit. Um, but it's old. I didn't really have much in the way of video games, and that's fine. You know, and yeah, I was looking for video games there at Goodwill. But I wasn't actively thinking, oh shit, I'm going to buy every game they have because they're going to have billions. No, that's not how it works. Usually it's all donations and whatever at Goodwill. So you get what you get, okay? That's pretty much what it is. If you find it before anybody else, and it, or even if these people do find it and they don't want it, hey, finders keepers, you know what I'm saying? More games for me to collect and add to my collection. And speaking of more games, I went to GameStop. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fucking GameStop. Me and my video games. But hey! Once you see some of the games that I got, well, mostly one in particular, you're gonna shit your bricks. Um, not that one. This one. I'll save that one for last. Save the best for last. A random case I found. Alright. So, as to be expected, all your sports games, NBA 2K 16, 17, and 18. Now, by the way, do not be alarmed. This may say it's $2.99, but it's not. It was actually 99 cents. So all three of these games were 99 cents. Again, as to be expected, they're all outdated sports games no one cares about. I may or may not already have these in my, in my collection, inventory collection, but I don't care. I'm getting them again. They're cheap. I could probably sell them for a little bit higher. Maybe. Only a little bit higher. So, uh, FIFA Soccer 12 for the P or PS3. Now, the Xbox 360. Uh, both Destiny 1 and 2 for the P uh, PS3. No! The Xbox One. Um, now, here's the sad part. This is the collection. It's, it's got Destiny, the Expansion 1 and 2, the Taken King, and the Rise of Iron. But that code to get the unlimited stuff, basically get all this, has been redeemed already. I kind of figured that. I mean, when you pre-order, or not pre-order, when, when you pre-own something, you, you buy something pre-owned, if there's any codes, always assume they don't work because someone already redeemed them, or it's past the expiration date, or whatever. So, yeah. I got both, and I get it, you know, I can get these for free somewhere else, but I don't care. I gotta have the physical copies. And they're actually on disc, too. They're not like a download code for Destiny 1. It's not, it's not a download code for Destiny 2. It's the actual games actual physical games. Now this is the game I was going to show you, see if the best for last, but I was shocked I found for 99 cents. Dead Island. Now this game, I know it's outdated, I mean we're at Dead Island Riptide? No, Dead Island. I don't follow Dead Island, okay? I haven't played any of the games, but I saw this game for 99 cents. Dead Island for the PS3, and I'm like, I'm sold. I want, I'm, I'm getting it, I don't care, I'm gonna be piss poor by the time I'm done. And I was, I had seven cents left over until today, which was Thursday when I get paid. So, I had seven cents. I had enough money to buy one more game. I think it was one of the sports games, like FIFA or something like that. But, 99 cents for Dead Island. I was shocked. I'm like, yeah, fucking Dead Island, man. Get that shit for 99 cents? Who wouldn't pass that up? I mean, you'd, ha you'd have to be dumb to pass up a deal like that. Um, 
I mean, I could buy these games, NBA 2K16, 15, 14, 102, 16, again, I don't know. I could probably buy these on eBay or Amazon, but they're not going to charge you fucking 99 cents. No, they're going to be like, oh, this game's a dollar, two dollar, three dollars, plus shipping. Plus shipping. So I get these games cheaper at GameStop than I would on Amazon, eBay. Yeah, some people would say 99 cents for outdated sports games is too much. Some people say you should get these games for free. I mean, 99 cents. You can't really beat that with some of these games. Especially because, like, I've seen some for 6 99 I've seen some for 4 or 2 99 you know? 4 99 2 99 whatever 99 I'm like, okay. 69 I I saw one for, like, 69 99 and it was like a deluxe edition or something like that. And I'm like, who the fuck would ever buy that for that price? I would buy it when it's around 99 cents, but that's not going to be for a year or two, maybe three. Basically, when there's like three or four new FIFA games or three or four new football games or baseball, basketball, whatever, then that three or four games go, that one's going to be dropped down to nothing. You know, 99 cents. And, you know, these games are the exact same every fucking year, and that's why, you know, fucking 2K making the same shit every fucking year like EA is. You know, it's sometimes two games in a year! Same game, pretty much. Um, same with FIFA, same with other sports games. But, I mean, there are uh, there's slight differences that make it different. For example, the number... See, this one's 16, this one's 17, this one is 18. Different numbers, bitches! Nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, yeah, there are different numbers. But, with these games, I feel like all of these games have, like, different tr uh, trophies or achievements to unlock. And I have a whole bunch of games for the PS4 and Xbox One that I need to start collecting the trophies and achievements for. For, you know, these games. Um... So, I mean, if I do decide to ever play all these games they have at some point instead of buying more, I'll have a mountain of trophies on the PS4 and a decent amount on the Xbox One for achievement-wise. Um, I'll have, and plus all the PS3 games, because you can tie PS3 to your, uh, well, basically PS3, PS4, PS5 are all the same thing. You know, they're all tied to your account, so if you earn a trophy for, you know, let's say Warrior Shy 115, which is my one account that I use, um, on, on a PS3 game, that shit transfers over to the PS4, as long as you sync the data and shit like that, so, I'll, I'll have PS3 games on my account, that I can show you the trophies for and shit, uh, same with the Xbox, the Xbox One and 360. But, yeah, I got some new games, I got some old games, well, all the games that I have are pretty much old compared to what I bought. But if I buy them, they're new games to me. They're not new at all. I mean, Dead Island on the PS3, fucking old. NBA 2K16, 17, 18, that's old shit. Destiny 1, when that came out, that's old shit. But to me, it's new because I bought them. Yeah, no, I didn't really have those games before. And I probably still do. I don't fucking know. I don't know what I have what I don't have. That's the problem with being a gamer and not making a fucking checklist. I should probably do that. But anyways, guys and gals, that's going to be it for this video. If y'all like this video, give this video a like. If that's fine, too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. Also, look forward to me wearing all these, these cat ears. whole mountain full of cat ears on, on like, Instagram. Maybe I'll post some on Twitter. I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell like on down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams. And wherever the fuck else I do, follow me on Twitch so I do some live streams on there occasionally. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro hoof. I just want to mew.